everybody. This is yet another video about Windows 8. And this video is brought to you by Mountain Dew. Last video was the um, well, Let's Talk About Facebook 4 video. That video is brought to you by Sundrop. Anyways, let me go ahead and get a sip of drink. And let's get started here. Basically, what we're going to be talking about today is um, Windows 8. And, and um, it's funny, a year ago, Windows 8 was all gun ho to not have any sort of start menu or start button in our operating system. It's going to be this big metro start screen with all these live tiles and stuff that nobody but the um, basic Facebook user or whoever would care about. But, um, but yeah, they decided to rip out the start menu and everything. And even, I think Steve Ballmer himself even, was even saying that start menu is gone for good, start screen is here to stay. But oh, Microsoft has been facing some serious pressure. Because right after Windows 8 was released, PC sales immediately fell by about 25%. And recent reports state that um, computers, I mean PCs, um, the shipments have fallen by about, I think, 18% or so due to Windows 8, mainly to Windows 8. I mean, you think about it. We've been using the start menu and stuff for all these years and stuff we've been highly accustomed to. We're used to going straight into the desktop on the operating system and not this big old smartphone or tablet interface. I mean, it's just way out of place on a desktop PC. I'm very experienced with, with using desktop computers and computers are supposed to have a power user interface, not something that's like a Fisher Price toy. And it's funny, um, I even uploaded a video, I think it was back in December or so, about Windows Blue. That's the new Windows that's coming out. And I, that video was based off the reports out right then, saying Windows Blue, oh, we're not going to have any more start menus or start buttons. We're not going to bring, be bringing that back. You're going to be stuck with this Metro interface. But yeah, we'll, we'll beef up the Metro interface just a little bit and try to improve a little bit. But sorry, no start menu for you, buddy. But after seeing more cons more um, pressure from co consumers, Microsoft has gotten pushed to the point where they're going to reconsider their original plan. It's not to surrender. It's to be sure that they can show you know uh, good support for customers by listening to customer input. Recent reports show from this month, April 2013, that the new Windows Blue will be called Windows 8.1. And it's funny, Microsoft's going back to a numbered, inter a numbered name machine for Windows. I mean, with Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1. But anyways, in this Windows 8.1, they're going to, the first thing they mentioned is going to, they're going to implement a feature to allow people to boot straight to the desktop and bypass the start, start screen. It will be disabled by default, but you can go and turn it on. And I'm sure that feature will be turned on probably about 75% of the time. More reports show that they're going to consider bringing back the start menu. Yes, the start menu. Some reports say start button, but many reports are even saying start menu. Some reports are saying start button is start menu. Like I said, these are just rumors right now, so we don't know for sure. But it seems that Microsoft has finally um, sobered up off of the Metro High they've been on for the past, I don't know, eight, ten months by wanting to turn computers into smartphones, give them this big old clunky tile interface that's, uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's like a Fisher-Price toy. Um, I'm glad to see they're, they're actually using some common sense and going to put a start button and start menu back and allowing people to bypass the start screen. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with leaving the start screen there. I mean, they've worked hard on Metro. Metro has its place on convertible laptops with touchscreen interfaces and tablets. On tablets and stuff like that, yeah, sure, the Metro will work great. But even then, they still need to make some improvements, which I believe those improvements are coming in Windows 8.1, like being able to put two apps side by side. And I'm hoping to see they'll actually put an X or something on the app to make it easier to close the set and drag it down. It took me about four or five months to figure out how to close an app in Windows 8. So yeah, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous in that matter, but I'm glad to see they're possibly thinking about improving. So I figure I'm just going to share it with you all. So um, anyways, I guess I'll have to go ahead and add an annotation into my previous video about Windows 8 about um, Windows Blue. Because it appears they might actually use some common sense to put the start button and the menu back and actually give users the option to boot straight to the desktop. 
So anyways, you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask, and thanks for watching.